Good day folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to add an external microphone to your Hero 5 Black or your Hero 5 Session. If you're an advanced user of the GoPro already, you might want to skip this video as it probably won't have any new information for you. If you're brand new to the GoPro world and you're trying to figure out how to add an external microphone to your Heroes, I will show you in this video and just how simple it is. Now when it comes to microphones, there are many you can choose and I strongly recommend sticking with Rode. Rode, I find, is a great marriage between value and quality and uh, they make some excellent products. Now this one here is the Video Micro. So now when you purchase it, this is all what it comes with. It comes with the microphone itself, it comes with the cable, a mount, and what they call a dead cat. These are pretty important. It helps cut down wind noise if you're outside and also if you've got the microphone really close to your mouth, it really helps cut back on breathing and different noises that you don't want to pick up. So the microphone just fits on like so. It's a little tricky to do. Just a little bit of force is required. So yeah, just like so. And the cable goes into the back. Now for this next part, we're just going to leave this off, but I'll show you how that goes on later on in the video. Now the techniques I'm about to show you work for both the Hero 5 Session and the Hero 5 Black. Now before you can connect a microphone, you have to purchase one of these. There's no way around it. It's by GoPro. It's an official GoPro accessory and it basically is a microphone adapter. I really just like that they've made it that you need this thing because it just adds so much bulk to the camera and it turns a nice small portable camera into a big clunky gadget. But uh, unfortunately with the Hero 5s, uh, this is what you need. And this can be ordered off of Amazon or directly from the GoPro website. So I am going to remove the side door. And that's going to open up and expose our ports. Now ideally you want to remove the door. You can leave the door on, but uh, ideally remove the door and that allows you to mount this in the frame and still have access for the microphone port. So we're just going to plug that into the USB-C port on the Hero 5 just like so and now we're going to plug in the cable there so just like that it is all connected and we can power on the GoPro like normal and just like that it will work you don't have to do anything else you don't have to change any settings when you have this adapter plugged in it's gonna detect right away that it has an external microphone plugged in and it will disable the onboard microphones now, like I said, it will work just like that. There are a few settings you can change if you want, if you're a person who likes to tinker and, uh, you know, tweak things a little bit. If you go to settings, to input and output, if you don't have a microphone plugged in, this will say not available. But now because we have a microphone plugged in, you can see there the audio input says standard microphone. And that's the setting it's at. Now you can change that. It has standard mic plus, powered mic, powered mic plus, line in. You can change these settings, and I'll kind of show you here what they do. So that's standard mic, just supports a non-powered mic. And non-powered mic just means that this microphone doesn't require an external power source. If we switch it to standard mic plus, you can see there, it now gives it a 20 decibel audio boost. So. You know, you can play around with that and see what you like best, but for the most of the time, just leaving it on standard mic is just fine. It works exactly the same for the session. We'll just open it up, remove the door, plug the microphone in, and we're going to power it on. Now you can see there, it popped up quick, you, you can rewind the video if you missed it, but there it actually gives you a visual confirmation that the microphone is detected. It said mic okay when it first, uh, first powered on. So yeah, that's all you need to hook up a microphone to your GoPro Hero 5 Black and GoPro Session. Now to use the dead cat or wind muffle, just slides on the end just like that. And now if you're outside, you will uh, not get any wind noise. They actually work very, very well. Now, one thing I just wanted to mention, I should have mentioned earlier, this is a shotgun or directional microphone. 
what that means is it mainly picks up audio from whatever direction it is pointed at so it's good for vlogging or if you want to get rid of a lot of background noise especially outside sometimes you have traffic noise you know wind all kinds of background noise that you want to eliminate a good directional microphone will help get rid of all that and just pick up the audio that you want also indoors if you're using it to do any kind of filming or commentary it also gets rid of background ambient noise like furnaces that are running fans different things like that so ideally most of the time you're going to want to go with a shotgun style microphone now what i want to go over with you is a couple different ways to mount this microphone the standard casing for the hero 5 does not include any kind of way to mount the uh, microphone so there are a couple options here and i'll go over them with you quickly uh, the first and simplest is to pick up a housing like this this is an aluminum housing for the hero 5 black has a lot of features and mainly for this situation it has a cold shoe built into the top so basically with the door off we're just going to slide it into the housing we plug in our microphone adapter and it can go either way so whichever way you find works best for you we then slide in our microphone to the top and we tighten the dial that will just snug it in there and hold it firmly in place and then we just connect the two cables and voila so now you can just attach this to any GoPro pole or mount or handle or grip and now you've got your microphone attached to your GoPro. Now another way to mount the microphone is using an adapter plate. We're just going to use this one for example. And there's many different out there. And I'm going to include all the links for everything that I'm showing you in this video down below. We just mount the GoPro like normal. So we've got the GoPro mounted. We're then going to take a little hot shoe accessory. Just screw it into the side here. Tighten it up with the dial. And then we just slide in the microphone like so tighten that dial plug it in and there we go so this is good if you're going to be doing some commentary while you're filming you got the microphone pointed at yourself and the gopro pointed forwards if you need just flip the microphone around or the camera around and uh, it's a nice vlogging setup so you still have another accessory port on this side so you could add something like a little light like a loom cube just screws on just like so and now you've got a really nice vlogging kit you can give yourself some extra lighting so yeah that's another another solution well folks that's pretty well it for this video so that just shows you how simple it is to add a microphone and a few different mounting options for you a really good microphone you can't go wrong with it really good price really good quality and yeah, I will include all the links down to all the products that I used in this video. I want to thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my video. And we'll see you in the next one.